and today I know I'm not going to get this name right. Uh, Cherie Torrance. So I got that right? Yes. And you are an acupuncturist, correct? correct. Yes. Licensed acupuncturist. Did you bring any needles to poke Ben? Oh, absolutely. Oh, she got some. Well, pain. at least she's licensed. We don't want people just coming in <laughs> poking us with needles. So. <laughs> so, okay, before we get into all this, tell me what an acupuncturist is. So an acupuncturist is somebody who properly puts needles in people. Properly, she said. <laughs> properly. Properly. Key ben. word there. Don't think I want you doing that to me, Ben. No. But it no, doesn't no, no. hurt. So they're, <laughs> these small needles are literally four of my needles fit inside of what, if you get a, a shot from a nurse. Right, right. Or from, if you give blood, four of my needles fit inside. Okay. So now, I've seen this. Does, I've seen this on the TV. Uh-huh. And, and they kind of screw them in. Is that true? No. 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 Okay. I thought I saw the Chinese man do that on the TV one time on a movie. No screw. That's probably we just the no movies. Screw. Just the movie. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So the goal is to increase circulation. Oh, so if you have okay. a stream of water and you have rocks and trees and debris, life, stress, back pain, the acupuncture needle comes to move that out of the way to allow more flow and circulation in the body. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. Cherie, um, like, did you just learn how to do this on Tuesday <laughs> and you start poking people next to, like, the, no. how, mu how much time does it take to learn how to poke somebody? So we are, we go to real medical school. Real medical <laughs> school? <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Joe, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, Go ahead absolutely. and say it. I went, Joe, I know what I'm doing. I went to two specific medical schools, but I went to one medical, I went to two medical schools, one for naturopathic medicine and then the other for acupuncture. Four years of medical school, a cadaver lab, poking people is proper medicine. And I passed three medical boards. Then I was able to practice. She's the real deal, Ben. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. she is. That's impressive. So when she pokes you, you know you're being poked by a doctor. Yeah, yeah you can feel feel a little relaxed and trusted. Let, okay. the, let the process happen. Absolutely. Okay, so here's my question. Yes. Did you just wake up on a Tuesday and decide, I think I want to poke people? So give me a little background. Okay. Here we go. So I'm being Here we go. <laughs> now, you don't have to go back to 1963. No, you understand? no, no. Okay. No, no. But my father passed away when I was two years old to a kidney failure. So, of course, I grew up without a father. So I said, when I grew up, if I'm able to help somebody because nobody properly helped my father, then I would have a father. So I went into the field of medicine by way of pharmacy technician, by way of natural health, and by helping myself. I had a hormonal condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. Many women have this <coughs> hormonal condition or fibroids or endometriosis. It's all in the same umbrella, pun intended, it's raining today. <laughs> so I figured if I can help myself with acupuncture and nutrition, then I would tell the world so that this medicine works. How did you find that acupuncture was going to be the vehicle for you? Because it sounded like at an early age you knew you wanted to have some sort of impact, especially in the, the health world. Mm -hmm. How did you find that acupuncture was your vehicle? So nothing else was working. I was growing up, and I was on medications. I was on birth control. I was on metformin, with, which is an anti-diabetic medication, mm -hmm. and it was not working. Matter of fact, I was having side effects. I was having acne, I was tired, all the right. side effects that medicines normally produce. So nutrition was working, the cysts were reducing, and then acupuncture. I didn't have side effects, and I said, this is it. I don't have side effects, and my cysts are gone, which is unheard of. Yeah, that's so powerful. I said, I would tell the world. So, Ben, have you not heard the commercials where, you know, you could take a pill and get rid of your headache? Right. But, but They but don't tell you of everything gonna else that comes after. Right, 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 right. You're going to lose your eyesight. <laughs> and, uh, <right. laughs> okay. So let's talk a little bit about the actual uh, business that, that you have. Um, w w give me the size of your operation. Is it just you, one-man show? I walk in and, and you're going to start poking me. What's what's that look like? Pretty much. It is one-man show. It's Excuse me, one woman one show. Woman I, I apologize. <laughs> That's okay. So you do walk in. It's, I'm building my clientele at the moment. So I'm in a hair a, um, salon suite. 
And so you you walk in. It's very one on one. I put the needles in. I talk to you, of course. See what's going on. See what's how long you've had. Whatever's going on. Then I give you the acupuncture and I leave the room to let you sleep or dig in your nose or whatever you need to do. With the needles in minutes. me. With the needles in. How long they got to stay in? Forty five minutes. Ooh, so I better not roll over or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> But that just means you're very comfortable if you're trying to roll okay. over. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people think that the needles hurt, and because of that, they can't go to sleep. Mo- I worked exact on a cruise opposite. ship. Exactly. I just got finished working on a cruise ship, and so all of my patients, when I would come and check on them, would be sleep. And one person, you know, was so comfortable that she was, like, trying to curl up. Right. And I said, hey, remember you have a needle here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at your website, and one of the things that says you also have a you you have a degree with herbal medicine. Can can you describe that? Am, am I am I saying that correctly? Yes. So Oriental medicine is an umbrella. So ch- Oriental medicine is acupuncture, Chinese herbs, moxibustion, cupping, things like this. Okay. So it's herbs you may have not heard of, but licorice. Gan Chao is the Chinese name, but licorice is a common name that we've all have heard of. Have you heard of licorice? Yes. Are you going to tell me that helps me? Of course. Really? <laughs> yes. What's licorice do for me? It helps warm up all, everything in your stomach, in your chest. It helps all the channels. Really? Really. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. You learn something new every time we come here. <laughs> I did not know that. She acted like that was no big deal. I know. I know. Dropping, dropping knowledge here today. Absolutely. <laughs> so give me an idea of what a common client would be when they come to you. They have a problem. I, I mean, what is it? Is, is it a, a backache? Is it a headache? What, what is it that's kind of common? Most people have a thing, but a lot of people have a thing. A thing. Oh, believe me. <laughs> we see a lot of things in here. I promise you that. So most people know about acupuncture and come in for pain. Back pain, headaches, migraine, knee pain, pain from surgery, you name it. All the types of pain that there are. But I do also get a lot of people who have hormonal conditions, erectile dysfunction, night sweats, you name it, acne, anything. Because acupuncture is increasing circulation. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of of all of that. Mm-hmm. So it, in some cases, is it in lieu of something like a chiropractor or something like that, or is it in dish, an addition to? Addition You're giving me a to. smile, like <laughs> because everybody has their lane, right? So chiropractic medicine is great, physical therapy is great, but acupuncture increases massage is great. Acupuncture increases circulation. So it will be used in addition to. See, I thought that's what massage did. You're saying this this goes a step further than that. Yes. So what massage does essentially is it's like dough. If you need dough and you stretch it out, eventually if you do nothing with the dough or our muscles, it shrinks. Right, it the, comes back. The sh- exactly. Yeah. So then the acupuncture is the circulation through the muscles, through the dough, to keep our body going. So everybody out there that they're they're getting massages regularly, they're going to the chiropractor regularly. Something like acupuncture can make what they're currently doing more beneficial. Correct. Yeah. No, because that makes sense. It probably lasts longer too. I would imagine. It does yeah. because acupuncture is going straight to the nervous system. Oh, Ben, you're Parking. trying to look smart now. I see. <laughs> you're trying to make me look bad. Okay. So so let me. Okay, I'm 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 on your website. I got this peculiar picture. I'm looking at. It looks like it looks like some. Some coffee mugs on the back of a woman's back, <laughs> cupping. Tell mm-hmm. me what that is. So, c- coffee mugs. That's funny. Clear coffee mugs. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. So, cupping okay. is very popular for worldwide people. Michael Phelps, who is the the swimmer, when he had the cupping, the round circles on his shoulder, that's cupping. Cam Newton, here locally, when he got cupping. So cupping is lit- it is literally glass jars, but it helps circulation. It how how does it help? So by lighting the cups on fire. Whoa! <laughs> you tell me that glass is hot. Yes. So no no no. We light a cotton ball 
on fire, soaked in alcohol, put it in the cup quick enough and put form put the cup on the body to right. form suction. So the suction is increasing circulation. The suction is sucking out mucus if there's asthma and things like this. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Takes out pain. It's, it's often used in conjunction with the acupuncture. 